love the internet, my halls of happiness. I hope you are doing well today. This is my 1,000 subscriber special plus a Q&A. So um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my journey through my subscribers. And at the end, I will be answering some of you guys' questions. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. guys today is friday june 19th 2020 8 19 p.m and i just hit 1000 subscribers like what that's crazy to me like oh my gosh I'm literally speechless like just to think that a thousand of you guys clicked on one of my videos and said hey I kind of like her content and just click the subscribe button that's crazy to me I would never thought that I would hit this milestone so fast I thought it would take me a very long time for me to do this like for two years I was just you know not growing at all I was gaining maybe one subscriber a month and to think like wow like literally two years ago is when I restarted my YouTube channel and that's just oh my god like a thousand I'm forever grateful like oh my god this is just crazy like wow I just don't even know what to say like speechless just thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> So I'm going to start off with some basic, basic facts um, that maybe you guys have asked in the comments or, you know, I haven't gotten around to answering. So first things first, I am currently 13 years old. My birthday is October 21st and I was born in 2006, so I turned 14 this year. I'm going to the 8th grade next school year and um, yeah, so let's get on to the actual questions that you guys asked me. So Adam... Adam Marie, I think that's how you pronounce it. Adam Marie's World asked, What inspired you to do YouTube and what are your favorite hobbies during quarantine? Um, I think I mostly inspired myself to do YouTube. I don't think anyone inspired me to do YouTube. It's always something that I've been very inclined to do. Um, if you guys have been subscribed for a long time or you guys like go back in my videos and you'll see that like I started YouTube literally, I think it was like eight years ago when I was like seven years old. No, not eight years ago. I started six years ago when I was literally like seven years old. I was in the second grade and I was just, you know, posting toy content because that's what I was very passionate about at the time. But I couldn't always, you know, get the help that I needed because I am still seven. I didn't really know how to work technology all that well and I didn't even know a thing about editing. And um, so I would have my mom film and edit the videos and I would just like, you know, uh, be the face. And it was not 
that convenient because my mom you know she still worked so she couldn't devote all of her time to you know my YouTube channel but she did the best that she could and I just learned how to edit myself and um yeah but I think the main motivation for me to get started or start back up my YouTube was actually to just you know have something to do or just see how far this can take me and like you know not regret like what could have been if I would have been cons consistent so yeah and my favorite hobbies during quarantine um i would definitely say playing the piano um if you guys know i talk about this literally in almost every video but i love playing the piano i just started learning in march and now it is june so yeah i love playing the piano i also love singing like brushing up on my singing has just been very very good i love brushing up on my technique and producing a healthier sound that's one thing that i'm very passionate about and i also love reading like um monologues or uh short scenes so that i can brush up on my acting as well i actually use the app scenebot which um helps you work with scenes and it has worked very very well for me so far so yeah so doc peep asked what are your goals nice vid by the way keep on posting thank you so much for the nice comment and my goals are one i already passed one of my goals and it was to hit 1000 subscribers but one of my goals like right now is to probably one be monetized before the end of the summer and number two before the end of this year i want to hit 5,000 subscribers with the rate that my channel is growing i'm pretty sure that that will happen so yeah <laughs> Caitlin Archer asked, what state do I live in? I live in Florida. I'm not gonna give the city because that is putting my safety in jeopardy and there's a lot of malicious people out there so I'm not going to put my city, but I live in Florida, so yeah. Caitlin Sai asked, I have a channel too. Question, what do you use to edit? I use Enlight Video Leap. It's an app on iOS devices, so you can get it on your iPad or your iPhone, and it's a very good app if you're just starting out with editing. And it's very, very self-reliant, so you can learn how to edit very, very fast. That's what I did. And they also have a really good YouTube channel teaching you guys all the basics of editing and how to use their app, and I've been using it since I started my channel and it's worked so great for me. So far they do offer a premium version but you'll get along just fine without and yeah so that's what I use. Adventures with Isabella asked, here are some questions. What is your favorite food? What is one thing you liked about lockdown? And what are your favorite big YouTubers? My favorite food is sushi. Some people may disagree, but I love sushi. I can eat it any time of the day. Even though I don't have it that often, it is a treat for um, me and my family. But I love sushi. Like, it's the best thing ever. One thing that I like about lockdown is all of the time that I get to focus on YouTube and uh, the time that I get to just be productive and the flexibility especially like with school I can work on my own time and like work on my own schedule which is really really good so I can do whatever works good for me. Um, my favorite big YouTubers, now are, I'm not sure if you're asking what I like to watch or who like is my inspiration for my videos, but who I like to watch, probably I love to watch Colleen Ballinger, uh, Shane Dawson, also Mia Stevens, I love her videos, and then Gia Gott, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but like her, her name is Gia, and then I get my inspiration for content from Sadie Aldis. Um, Mia Stevens and uh, Gia Gat. I'll put their uh, you know profiles over here along the screen and um, yeah so thank you so much for the comment so the last question is from Ava Ray I actually really love your profile picture like oh my gosh it's so pretty anyway so what is my favorite Disney movie now my favorite like Disney like Disney movie is probably The Little Mermaid. I've always loved The Little Mermaid. It's such a great movie. Like ugh, The Little Mermaid, Chef's Kiss. It's just beautiful. I love the animation. Ariel has always been my favorite Disney princess and I've always kind of had this kind of like mermaid kind of phase ever since I was little. Like I just love mermaids and I think they're so cool. And um yeah, so I, my favorite Disney princess movie is The Little Mermaid, and I also really like The Little Mermaid too. Like they they go neck and neck. Like The Little Mermaid and The Little Mermaid too, very very good movies. But if you're asking like Disney movies, not including Disney Princess, I would probably have to say Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue, or like the whole Tinkerbell series. I just really like their movies. 
And um, yeah. So that is it for this week's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. It was so fun for me to, you know, share my subscriber journey with you guys. And hopefully I'll be making one of these videos again really, really soon with even more questions. So um, yeah, I loved answering you guys' questions. Very, very fun. I would love to do that again so that you guys could get to know me a little bit more. So um, yeah, and as always, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week bye